As, as we continue, well, uh, we're out in the city of Mbombela this morning. Uh, of course, uh, for that launch that uh, we did uh, share uh, with you with the Department of Science and Technology, and I am joined this morning uh, by the Minister of uh, Science and Technology, uh, Menalodi Pando. Good morning to you, and thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, good morning, Penny, and morning to your viewers as well. Great stuff. So now the work that uh, goes into this plant uh, speaks to um, the development plan, speaks to some of the vision that you have uh, as a department uh, for, you know, Vision 2030 and beyond that in terms of like innovation and technology within uh, the field on science. And we've always been talking about beneficiation, you know, from our minds uh, to our hands in whatever ways. Um, this must be a, pr a proud moment when you look at, at, at this plan for you as a department. Well, certainly, um, it's a very, very uh, happy moment for the department. And I think uh, all congratulations to the University of Limpopo for the research that has been done by uh, the team led by Professor Nguepe. And I think our department came in at the right uh, moment. The uh, CSIR has also been playing a role. And as you say, what we're trying to do is realize the uh, objectives of government mm to uh, ensure that we have value additional beneficiation of our own rich mineral resources so that we benefit from exporting value added products rather than exporting our raw materials and then buying back products ma made elsewhere. And to have our scientists uh, developing processes for producing precursor materials that will uh, form uh, the uh, batteries that will be utilized for a wide range of products is, I think, a really exciting development for South Africa. Now, in terms of like the Department of Science and, and Technology, the significance of uh, supporting such an initiative, initiative, initiative which has a, as a tier of, you spoke about research, uh, you know, what's happening in, in the university, the academic side of it, the actually skills development of it, and, uh, you know, to the level of commercialization where we all she, will see a final uh, product that uh, uh, ordinary South Africans can, can, benefit, can benefit from. The commitment uh, to, that, to that project, what does it take? Well, firstly, I think you need uh, dedicated teams, but uh, apart from that, you also need the facilities. Uh, you need government funding. It's taken a lot of money uh, to get to this point, and uh, you need a novel process uh, that industry will be interested in, or manufacturers of the rest of the world. And it's not often uh, that you get that happy mix coming together in this way. And we were really fortunate that we have an excellent team at the University of Limpopo. We have masters and PhD students that are keenly pursuing this research. We were able to support investment in this facility. So they almost have a, a live industrial laboratory mm. uh, on site where they're able uh, to do their work. They've been able to form associations with the private sector. So you have that public-private mix uh, and then the natural resource of magnesium ore, uh, which all, I think, form a very positive uh, story for us as we seek to advance innovation in South Africa. Now, in, in terms of like, uh, the, the impact and how to position South Africa as a global player in the space uh, of renewable energy, um, you know, we've got the sun, we've got the, the, the minerals uh, tapping into that, making sure that you know we benefit uh, economically as a country, but at the same time it contributes to some of our social economic uh, challenges that we're facing uh, as a country. Well certainly, as you know, we've got a challenge with mining in decline uh, in many sectors, but we happen to be the world's largest producer of several uh, minerals, among them being manganese ore, which is what we're about here today. What uh, you need is to develop uh, uh, refining processes where uh, you add value to the basic uh, mineral uh, that you're dealing with. And I think that's the, the discovery issue, the innovation issue, mm. uh, is how do you process uh, a, a bare mineral such as manganese, add value to it using other uh, minerals, cobalt being one, mm. nickel another, and then is, the, is there an interest uh, in the market? Because you can talk about beneficiation, but if you don't understand industry, if you don't understand the markets, you're not able to really develop that which will give you 
uh, the level of export material that you want. The value addition that the team has developed in the laboratories here will change the cost of the materials that we export fundamentally and develop an industry which will create jobs and new industrial plants for South Africa. Now, when we're working on something that's uh, being developed and we, we're using natural resources, in, in this case there's a plan, there's a vision, uh, one of the biggest challenges that we always face with South Africa, uh, bes besides our sort of implementation, is sustainability. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you in, in, in this department, you're working on this, this project. Ten years down the line, uh, lot and behold, you're not in, in, you know, in that department or something else, or even sooner. Uh, the sustainability of this, this project and making sure that it speaks to the greater vision uh, of the country, how is that secured? Well, essentially, uh, what you're doing is supporting researchers and innovators. And you need stable institutions that are able to carry on the work, no matter who's in office uh, in the political domain. And what we have worked very hard to do as a department is to support our researchers, to establish institutions uh, that are able uh, to do the work that must be done. So, uh, you know, we don't have a minister as a factor your uh, fortune is in getting excellent researchers who have the skill to advance a particular uh, innovation. And you have institutions of higher learning that become your resource for training your future knowledge workers. So really it's the investment in uh, the durable elements that make up success in innovation. That's what uh, a government uh, should be doing. In the next few days, outside of what's happening here uh, today at this, as this launch, is that there's other engagements with different stakeholders within uh, the renewable energy uh, field and other bigger, uh, other projects that you will be involved in, in, in speaking to. Can you share some of, of that with us uh, that speaks to the space in this region especially? Well, in, in particular, one of the things uh, that we're all seeing is countries are looking for renewable energy resources. They want to reduce emissions, um, but they want energy uses uh, that will not cause you to interfere, say, with me taking a trip uh, in a car, in an electric vehicle. So I want to be able to store energy appropriately. And some of the work that is being done here is looking at energy storage so that you can have batteries that you can change, which have a store of energy for use uh, uh, in them uh, over a long uh, journey period or long use uh, of an industrial machine. Mm. So this week we will host an energy storage uh, workshop with the participation of the team at the University of Limpopo, but also a broader stakeholder team, uh, including industry, particularly car manufacturers, those who are manufacturing electric vehicles, because the work we're doing here uh, in the development of lithium-ion battery precursors can feed into supporting the electric vehicle industry internationally. So that energy storage workshop is very, very important because the concern with electric vehicles is the stop and start, mm. that you have to keep recharging. So if we can develop a, a very durable uh, battery, that does store energy uh, over a period, we will have really, I think, hit uh, a very, very important uh, development for South African innovation. Well, Minister, thanks very much for talking to us. From what we've seen here this morning, looks like uh, it might be possible. Uh, so. It definitely is possible. I, I'm convinced the team is going to do it. We're very, very excited. This is what we've been trying to invest in for years. And uh, getting to this point, really, you know, heads up. Right, well, to South African researchers.